and welcome to today's edition of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But to start things off, what are we drinking today? Fire in the Sky Rye. Today we're finally covering a movie that several people have asked us to cover, so we're going to do it, and that is 1981's The Boogans. <laughs> this one was directed by James Conway, and uh, he's done mostly TV. And Marie Martin is in this, and she was in a couple of horror movies that we got to mention, uh, Prom Night, and she was uncredited in Halloween 2. Fred McCarran is in this, and also Rebecca Balding is in this too. Balding? <laughs> The Boogans starts off the opening credits, which you have to pay attention to because it's all these newspaper clippings about this mine back in the late 1800s. Town strikes it big. Hundreds flee to town to mine. Cave in, miners trapped. Miners found dead, mine closed. <laughs> There's a company pulling up in a truck called Syndicated Mines, and they are hired to basically reopen this mine. Two veterans, and there's two newbies on the crew, and that is Mark and Roger. They go into the mine, and the map we have isn't even current, you know? Yeah. <laughs> stumble upon this spot where there's all these bones, just a bone yard. They also stumble upon this big river creek type thing in the the middle yeah. of this mine which yeah. is kind of odd we then see this lady driving up the highway a deer comes out and she swerves to miss the deer goes into the ditch walks back and we find out that she's opening up this house to be rented to miners who are coming in from out of town yeah she has to spend the night there because her car's in a ditch there's also this old man just beginning to hang around the mine. And then, then yeah. he's also at that house. She hears kind of something in the basement. Something grabs her and drags her <laughs> into the basement. Trish and Jessica driving up to this town and they are the girlfriends of Mark and Roger. All gonna be living in this house together. And they've got their dog, Tiger. Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Roger and Mark get off work for the day. One of them has to drive out that night to go get these plans, like, and erects his plans of getting with his lady for the first <laughs> time in uh, eight days. He keeps saying, eight days, it's been eight days. Yeah. They're hoping to maybe get a little hanky-panky in, but Tiger <laughs> is all in the way. So they go out to a bar and have a couple of beers, play some pool. We find out that Jessica's a big pool shark, and oh, you jealous? I'm pissed off. <laughs> You're better than I am. At this point, Roger goes back to the house to try and get some sleep. He finds that it's like trashed from the fucking dog. He lays down in bed, and the bed all breaks again. again. <laughs> <laughs> so finally he's like, well, screw this. I'll just get up and go then. So he goes into the garage to get into the truck. And there's something that whacks him into like big cabinet or something. <laughs> he gets dragged under the truck and that's it. The next morning, Mark goes to the mine. The mine is all boarded up and there's like three crosses in the front and there's like a warning. Jessica is back at the house. The dog's kind of barking <laughs> and he sees like the dog sees like these claws or like tentacle things come through the grates snatches the dog yeah so that's the end of that fucking annoying ass dog finally <laughs> dog finally got it <laughs> yeah jessica comes out these tentacles grab her right from through yeah. that grate and grab her arm meanwhile back at the mine they kind of notice something that's floating in the lake or yeah. like this pond thing and it's roger and he's all like His face is all torn up <laughs> yeah the old man that's been hanging around is finally down there with them and he's got dynamite you know there's something down here he wants to collapse the mine and finally rid the area of whatever this monster is the boogans <laughs> yeah so if you want to see what happens with the miners and the old man with the dynamite <laughs> yeah keep watching there's a lot more to go this movie is actually really, really really good. It's a slow paced movie, but that's just fine because it never gets boring. And that's because of the characters and the dialogue are so good. Yeah. It's all the character development and stuff that, that really makes this movie move along nicely. The characters are really like, you really believe that they're friends mm -hmm. and really a tight knit unit. Funny where it needs to be, yeah. but not campy funny. Exactly. Just, the, just natural funny. The, the comedy works in the context of the scenes and yeah. the movie as a whole, yeah. right? And it's not shoved in your face. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just like normal banter. Just like you and me would run into the situation. Yeah. It's also an intriguing movie because... Because they tease you a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of teasing. You're like, you never really see the monster. You don't really know what's up with this mind. So there's a lot of mystery here that keeps you watching it. One of the really neat things about this movie 
which is unique, is the dog. <laughs> that <laughs> fucking tiger. <laughs> as soon as they showed it, I'm like, oh, fucking white yappy poodle. Yeah. I hate white yappy poodles. But it's sneak because the dog is like part of the cast. Part dude. of the cast. It's a character in the movie that you kind of either root for or, or you hate or them. You hate them. <laughs> it's kind of like the jokester character from all these slashers, like, you know, like Shelly from Friday the 13th Part 3. Mm -hmm. He's kind of annoying, but you kind of feel, you kind of like him at the same time. Mm -hmm. And when he finally does die, you kind of like, aww. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and everybody else kind of hates him yeah. too. They're sort of annoyed yeah. by him, but when he disappears, they're kind of upset, Yeah, right? they yeah. love him, yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's, he's, they love him, but he's annoying, you know? <laughs> And he gets a lot of screen time, this dog. He does, yeah. And he's a little bastard. Yeah. <laughs> he, does, he gets up yeah. to a lot of shenanigans. I don't want you eating my shoes. And as soon as I leave, the dog goes for the shoes right away. He's a well-trained dog, yeah. I must say. Yeah, whoever, like, whatever dog did the movie mm -hmm. was great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it did everything perfectly. Yeah, yeah. One of the nicest things about this movie is the production value feels top-notch. The setting, too, is like beautiful like the mountains yeah and then when they show the caves and everything with the water it's yeah. like wow this yeah. is a this is a nice looking movie the effects like even the monster effects are pretty good and they're so simple yeah right they don't need to be super good because they don't show tons of the monster there's a fucking monster in the well, mines yeah yeah it's like okay that's a little silly you have to temper that with not showing it because if you show too much it gets ridiculous they did a really good job of teasing the monster and every time that someone encounters the monster or gets killed they show a little bit more finally towards the end you don't see the full monster ever but you see like the face finally you know <laughs> yeah. what is this yeah is it an alien <laughs> is it some weird creature like from prehistoric times you don't really know that's maybe my one misgiving about the movie and I normally don't like a lot of backstory in yeah. movies but I kind of wish they would have went a little bit more into what the miners yeah. had found like a hundred years ago and, yeah. and what they maybe thought that it was. I kind of like that you don't know what it is though. It does. Yeah. It works though. It helps with the mystery. Yeah. And the sounds that the thing makes like when you don't see it and you mm -hmm. just see there's like a lot of POV shots of what the monster yeah. sees. It. <laughs> Yeah, so you know he's around, you yeah. know he's a mean fucker yeah. too. That's why movies like this work so well, like they probably don't have the biggest budget in the world, they probably couldn't build the whole monster, you build part of it, yeah, and mm -hmm. then you just show that little part and the rest all POV and less is more in this exactly. case, right? Yeah, exactly. The actors acting out what the monster looks like, right? Because yeah. they're terrified, so you know it's like, well, what they're looking at is fucking scary. Yeah, yeah. the reaction to the monster is, is, yeah. is, is so good where you don't need to see it. Exactly. It's a, it's a surprisingly good movie for a movie called The Boogans. Yeah, I like think... You expect it to be just pure <laughs> cheese, right? But it's not. So I guess that's it. And if uh, you've never seen 1981's The Boogans and have kind of put it away because the name is kind of cheese, watch it anyways because yeah. it's a great little watch and it's a lot of fun. You're not going to be disappointed. It's a very enjoyable movie. Yeah. And you'll either love or hate that fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, keep drinking. <laughs>